Hey gang, what's going on? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and really appreciate you guys making some time out of your day to watch the video. I know that you guys don't have to, so I'm always definitely grateful that you spend a few minutes with me every day watching these videos. Today, guys, I'm gonna show you a simple modification of what I do to my brown jigs in the wintertime uh, period of the year to get a lot more bites. Um, I'm gonna go through the whole process and explain why I do it and sort of show you guys how to set it up. Definitely going to add a lot more fish in the boat between, say, now and the end of February. Um, real quick, just a couple different things I wanted to remind you guys of. I've been talking about this week. Um, Solar Bat has a, a, a December, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a December Christmas sale. They've got a kit of four different pair of Solar Bat sunglasses, all with different lens tints for different light intensities. 50% um, off on this kit when you order it. Um, I'll include the Solar Bat link in the description if you guys are interested in that. And just wanted to give you guys a daily reminder. We're really uh, uh, getting our bait works intuitive angling holiday box out there. If you guys are looking for a Christmas gift, this is a great one. It's full of baits that I've hand selected myself out of the bait works tackle store. And it's got a video in it as far as a link you can go to that shows you guys how to fish every lure in there. You guys will really like it. It's a really cool thing. I'll put the uh, bait works link in the description there too. Much appreciated you guys uh, patient with the plugs there. Okay, guys, um, jigs, 12 month out of the year bait, man. You can catch fish on them all year long. But the thing about jig fishing, we've done a lot of jig seminars in the past, is different times of the year, the bass like a different profile of a jig, and they like a different color of a jig, and they like a different trailer setup. Now, we've done videos on this, on this type of stuff a little bit in the past, but what I really want to do uh, moving forward I want to give you guys more specifics as far as the type of jig setups that work the best certain times of the year. And the jig that I'm talking about today, but my little brown jig modification, is sort of the deal that works good when those water temperatures are in the 40s and 50s. When you got 40s and 50 degree water temperature, and when you got water visibility, um, anything over two foot, I prefer like two to six foot. This modification is going to catch you a lot of fish. So first of all, show you got I got my Blockit old school jig here, guys. I'll put the also I'll put the link in the description if you guys like to order some of the Blockit old school. Um, <coughs> excuse me, this is the brown and purple color. I usually use brown and purple or straight brown in the winter time of the year, um, and usually on the three eighths or quarter ounce size here. And the Blockit old school, if you're not familiar with it, it's living rubber. It's hand tied with wire. And it's got a short shank hook on it here. And the reason that I designed it like this with the skirt a little, little long is by doing all this allows you to create different profiles. You can hang like a, a long trailer off it and create a bigger profile jig, or you can create a shorter one like I'm going to talk with you guys today. So here's what I do here. I start out with the three eighths or quarter ounce block of old school. Brown and purple is my favorite. Flip it over like that. And another cool thing about the jig I designed, it's got a really nice keeper on it there. So when you put your plastics on it, they never come off. Next thing I do, take a Zoom Super Chunk Junior. Now in the winter time of the year, guys, I like a trailer that doesn't have any action. I like the, you know, just the chunk type trailer. I don't want any curly leg trailers. And I'm gonna thread it up on there. Green pumpkin all the time when I'm, when I'm doing this. Green pumpkin or maybe green pumpkin with a purple flake, something like that. But the green pumpkin match with the brown. So I've got my chunk on it like that. Now the next thing I'm going to do, guys, you see how that looks there? I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to, I'm going to trim the skirt way back. Now when you, when you trim the skirt back on the jig, guys, don't ever just cut it straight across. You want to come in and you want to cut different lengths of it and leave, some, leave a few long strands on there. You don't want to cut them off super short, but I'm going to cut this thing back quite a bit to where I've got a lot of the trailer showing. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through there and I'm going to pull out some strands of the rubber. Now, the reason I do this is I'm trying to create a little bit smaller profile jig. And by taking some of those strands out, um, it will do that. You know, we, we put plenty of strands in there because sometimes you want a full, a full skirt of jig, but by having the extra strands in there, you can modify that how you want and pull it out to suit how much uh, thickness you want on it. So as we turned out, here's the, the, final, the final profile, guys. Nice little edible tidbit there. Looks like a little finesse jig, even though this is a full-size pitching and flipping jig with a nice four-aught hook in it. 
by trimming it back and using a smaller profile, we've created this really finessey looking jig that is really good in the winter time. Guys, this is the key to catching bass on jigs when that water temperature is in the 40s and 50s. You got to go small with them. And by trimming it back and using a small trailer, it's going to get you a lot of bites, guys. But normally what I'll do this time of year is I like to concentrate around rock or dock. So um, chunk rock banks, bluff banks, rock transitions, that type of stuff, pitching and flipping it around docks, especially if there's brush around the docks, usually using on 12 to 15 pound test Seaguar and Desix line. It will get you bit, guys, I'm telling you. Definitely so. So anyway, if you're interested, you can get them at the uh, Baitworks uh, Tackle Store. I'll put the link in the description for the jigs. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the tip. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. We'll talk later.